It's on its way now. Where are we heading? No problem. The state is so fucking broke. Man, I wish there was a better way to make some money in this game. Wait a minute, that taxi cab that dropped us off. Pablo Escobar started his multi-billion dollar drug smuggling operation with just a few taxi cabs. That's it! Tracy, find and purchase a taxi cab. We are going into the transportation business. You guys are geniuses, Rockstar. This is going to be brilliant. So, this is the vehicle my assistant decided to get for me, huh? The new vehicle that was released today, the Weenie Dynasty, which I've got parked next to the Weenie Issy Classic. And the new Dynasty is based off the 1957 Morris Oxford, which is a UK car manufacturer. And it did come out just a few years before any of the Mini Coopers did, so that is pretty cool. I wonder if it had any inspirations on the Mini Cooper. And India, of all countries, picked up this vehicle, made some modifications to it, and produced it for many, many years to be used as taxi cabs all over the country, which is why we've seen so many pictures of this thing as a taxi uh, posted all over YouTube and the internet for this uh, Weenie Dynasty. And I really like how small these cars were out of the UK and out of Europe. Uh, during that time compared to the much larger and oversized and overdone American classics. So that's always cool to see how big of a size difference there is. And I love the chrome styling. We've got chrome door handles, of course, chrome uh, rear bumper. And also on the front, there is a fat chrome grill with some styling on the hood and even some circle housings for the headlights. Very cool. So I do hear there are a lot of modifications. This does look like a fun little vehicle and the price is right coming in at the cheapest car in the DLC. So let's check it out. What can we do to it? All right, let's see what this little guy's got. What can I help you with? Go straight for some race brakes, of course. Nice uh, sunset in the back too, love that. Bumpers, front bumper. So we've got stock, magnum, blade. I love these names by the way. Roadster, which no looks similar to stock, a little bit beefier. Uh, T-bar, bullet, and power ram. And I do kind of like the uh, bullet. Yeah, let's throw that guy on there for now. Rear bumpers, we've got stock, magnum, blade, Whatever you desire. same names as the uh, front bumpers, roadster, t-bar, bullet, and power ram. And it's going to be between stock or bullet. I like the bullet for the front, and I'm going to keep the stock one on the rear. I do like that. The um, T-bar is similar to stock, but it's got that double bar. So yeah, I will leave stock on here. 
Bumper extension, all right. So we've got uh, as is, Magnum, Blade, Roadster, same names again. T-Bar, Bullet, and Power Round. And all these others have the uh, splitter, except the uh, T-Bar, but I do like the Magnum. Very simple, kind of looks like how it would come from the factory. So I'll throw the Magnum extension on there. Engine, of course, level four. Let's see what this little guy can do once we get outside. See if we can get some crazy taxi action. All right, so exhaust, we've got stock, shell tip, never seen that before. It's got a little cover over the top. Dual exhaust, race exhaust, and titanium. And since I'll be building this as a taxi, it's going to be between stock or shell tip for me. And the stock does not have the backfire, so shell tip it is. Get some crazy taxi action on this guy. Deflectors. All right, this is for the rear. We've got uh, GT, wing, racer wing, duster, duster sports, or arched roof wing. Take a look at it flush. I do like this duster deflector. I think it's kind of classy. Throw that on. She's a beauty. All right, we've got the uh, stock grill. Ooh, that changes it up a lot. Radiator. Look at that. Gets rid of all the chrome. There we go. Back to the chrome again with the Roadster. The chrome tooth, which is kind of a Chevy, American style. Classic bullet or the king. Making decisions is stressful. And I do love this stock grill a lot. How the only thing that was close, close to it is the Roadster. And compared to stock, it looks like it puts some uh, surroundings on those uh, blinkers, those blinker lights. Some housing, so we'll throw on the Roadster grill. All right, hood. We've got stock, Dart, GT1. Got some vents on there, GT2. Do you need a drink? Looks like it raises the uh, hood in the center. And then Racer MK1, MK2. It's got that vent, that duct, and cool air where it throws everything together. And I do like the dart a lot. extends that uh, styling piece. So dart we shall go. Headlights, I will leave them stock. All right, liveries, we've got clean. We've got Racer 21 with some stripes going over the center. Racer 05, not bad. How many cars you got fun liveries, car? man, for a fun little car. Racer 29, Excelsior. Got a burrito on the trunk. Oi, taxi. Man, I really wish they had a clean version of this because I know this taxi was used for many years in India, but I could so imagine a taxi like this being used in Cuba, Colombia, South America, all drink? over the world. Bubbles? So too bad they don't have a clean version of this Oi taxi. That would have been awesome. Got flares if you want to go for a little muscle car look. The orange and yellow flames. And the Flames one is a purplish modern flame, which is pretty cool as well. And Speedy. All of these liveries are unique, so that's always good. Seeing uh, new liveries, not uh, recycled ones. Cross and Hatch. Another fun livery for the little weenie dynasty. Surge. Look at that. Got the split blue and white. Kind of hippies, uh, 60s styling. Whoa, and speaking of hippies, 60s styling, check this out. Horn, okay, please. That is actually pretty awesome. 
could put it next to my VW wagon, the uh, VW camper van. Very impressed with these liveries. You know, Rockstar gave us this totally random car that uh, no one was expecting, but they did make it fun. Whatever I will say that. Technology and budget permitting. Moving on to mirrors, quite a few options for the mirrors. We've got uh, round chrome. That's kind of cool. We've got painted square, chrome square, and this moves them up to the hood. Can get them round as well. Painted, if you can think it, chrome I can square, it. or painted round. Nice. Those are some fun little options for the mirrors. And I am going to go for some painted square mirrors. Throw these guys on. Plate. You know, we got to put a classic blue plate on. For you. And respray, we will come back to. I want to check out the uh, roof options first. So we've got as is. We've got the mini roof rack. That is cool. The large roof rack. Extended, that is really cool. Making I would actually put that on a second build, make a classic version of this. But the one everyone's got to do first is the taxi. This is the first taxi we can actually make and store in our garages. So that is pretty cool. We've got the road trip with the luggage, which we've all seen before. The touring. Got some uh, cardboard boxes with some suitcases and vacation. Garage? I don't remember seeing uh, tennis rackets, so that is actually pretty awesome. I always uh, notice these uh, details on these roof racks. Looks so like everyone else, I can't help but go for the taxi sign on the roof. Now we can go back to respray, see what this looks like in black. Your cosmetics are on point. The uh, London cabs over in London are all black. I think that's really awesome. Really cool. A little bit more uh, upscale, right? Kind of like a little limo. Stuff. So I was really tempted to go with this all black one. But the yellow is just so much fun. It's so bright. Bodywork to match the driver. Yep, little yellow cab, just so much fun. See what this little guy's got. Suspension, see how much this thing lowers. Three, two, one. Boom, that will do. That will do. Transmission, yes. Turbo, throw that on as well. Oh yeah, and visors, we've got green. Meshed, classic, vintage, that's kind of cool. Vintage Carso and vintage Pacat. And some of these are tempting, but I think I will leave it as is for now. Keep it classy. Wheels, definitely keeping these wheels as is. Check out that gold powder coating with that center chrome cap. Yeah, those are pretty cool. So I will throw on Life some uh, black tire it. smoke. Windows, no, I will leave it as is Anything? on this little classic Bubble taxi. And that is everything, 23 out of 23, very cool. So let's take her outside and have some fun. Look at this little guy, so bright, so small, and so fun. Let's see uh, what opens up on the vehicle. All right, look at that trunk. That is the nicest looking trunk I've seen in a while. Fully opens up, plenty of room. You can see the uh, arches for the wheels in the rear. Got the uh, interior. Look at that uh, shift lever, that's cool. And let's check out the motor. Nice. Not, not a bad little limit. motor at all. So I am happy with those details on this car. 
Let's take her for a test drive, see if she is worth purchasing, if there's any reason to purchase this at all, besides just the looks of the car. Besides being a fun little car, and wait a minute, is this rear wheel drive? It is rear wheel drive. Well, 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 that might change everything. See if this will do a uh, speed boost. Yes, it will. Okay. This could be a fun little car to slide around in then. Especially for the price. Uh, it's severely underpowered. Very, very slow. So it is not going to be a drift car by any means. But that does not mean it's not a fun little car to take out once in a while and do some power slides. And I think I know a fun location we can head to on the map. Hey, you guys need a ride? Free ride. Free first ride, no charge, no? All right. You guys need a ride? Free. Crazy taxi ride. It'll be fun. Alright. Guess they don't want a ride either. Crazy taxi rides. Well, I guess the business plan of uh, taxi business is a little bit of a flop. That is unfortunate, but on the plus side, I am having a lot of fun with this little guy. A lot more fun than I thought I would. Alright, let's see how this uh, little guy does in one of my favorite streets sections for small cars. Anybody need a ride? You don't have to wait for the bus. I'll give you guys a ride. Nope, I guess not. Thought I'd give it one last try. So the taxi business is a flop. But on the bright side, this car is a lot more fun than I was expecting. And that is what these small cars are fun for. Going through very narrow and small spaces. Power sliding around, little parking lots, breaking through those, uh, those guys right there. You guys remember the game Crazy Taxi on Sega Dreamcast Arcade? Let's have a little Crazy Taxi Downhill Run. Got Use this guy's uh, size to our advantage. Squeeze through these little gaps. No problem for the little weenie dynasty. Yes, nailed it. So that's the fun thing about these little cars is uh, squeezing through those tiny little spaces. And the fact that this guy is rear wheel drive was a pleasant surprise. Very pleasant surprise. So, should you go out and buy this guy, this little weenie dynasty coming in right below $500,000? Cheapest vehicle in the DLC. I would still have to say no. Um, I really still can't recommend this vehicle. I mean, I'm having a blast with it right now, but how long will that fun factor last? Uh, I have a feeling I will get tired of this after, you know, a few more minutes. So it is more of a novelty. It's a little toy, tiny car, uh, taxi. Really cool. It is uh, a ton of fun to look at. It just makes you smile taking it out once in a while. And the rear wheel drive is cool. You can slide this thing around. But I still really can't recommend going out and buy one. Does that mean that you shouldn't buy one? No, absolutely not. Just know going into this that this thing is uh, not good performance-wise at all. Uh, it's very slow, it's very sluggish. But it is a tiny, fun little toy car. 
So it is something you might pull out every once in a while just to put a smile on your face for a few minutes. Alright, and we finally found our first passenger. Looks like the investment in the taxi business wasn't a complete waste after all. And that will do it for this video guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys picked one of these up as well. Or if you're thinking about it, or if it's altogether a hard pass for you. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take care of our first passenger here. But I will see you guys soon in the next one. H2TV, signing out for now.